At uh, 1441 today, we received a call of a train derailment in this area off of Berry Street. At 1446, we were on scene and uh, evaluated the situation. Command was set up at 1447. What we had found was five trucks that have left the track, with two of those being breached. One was a minor breach, one was a larger breach. After further investigation, we found that the product was a vegetable oil. At that time, we then let the media know that we had a non-life-threatening uh, event going on here at the uh, CSX Railway off of Berry Street. Plans to uh, mitigate the situation are underway, booming, and uh, stopping the product from flowing is being, containment of that product is being done right now. CSX is uh, at this time beginning the transition of taking over the scene management and the scene is deemed safe at this time. Do we have any questions? Do you have any idea of what caused it? What caused it? Uh, uh, not at this time, still under investigation. Is it possible that the severe weather may have had any I can't answer that because uh, we haven't had that much time to be able to investigate that and CSX will do a, a proper investigation to get that figured out. A lot of damage to the tracks. Any idea of when those will reopen? Now at this time, we're still way too early in the scene to, to figure that out, but CSX has a full complement of their crew here. And uh, my hat's off to the Nashville Fire Department and OEM and the uh, Police Department uh, for their quick response and getting information out and getting the situation handled quickly. You know, I know CSX says they do um, inspections probably about every six months. Do you know the last time that the tracks out here were inspected? I can't answer that question. Uh, I don't work for CSX, so I, I haven't had that kind of conversation with them yet. Those should be underway right now because uh, traffic, of course, safety number one of the citizens of Nashville, then two, traffic in Nashville. So uh, they are moving that at, at this time as we speak to get that intersection back open. And is that just Barry Road that's blocked right now? Just as far as we know, just Barry Road. Yes, ma'am. It is gone. It is gone. It's out of the way. Do you have any idea how much it's filled? No, enough to be able to contain it to a, a small 40 foot area. That's what I was told by command. Uh, the product is, is under control. Uh, all the proper steps have been taken uh, to keep that from happening and being contained, and then CSX will come in and, and get that cleaned up for us immediately. Their hazmat team is on scene now. I guess to play out this question, so could vegetable oil be yeah, Eventually, but there's no hazard here for that. And if there's no, no other questions, let's... Uh, what's up? Oh, yes. So we did, uh, through the proper chain of of uh, letting people know what's going on through the Office of Emergency Management, all the proper federal and state authorities have been notified. EPA, TDEC, uh, Metro Water, Stormwater, all those folks are, are have been briefed and, and up to speed. Do you have an estimate of how many gallons uh, has been leaked out? Not at this time. They are still down there mitigating it uh, at this moment. So I'll get a further report later on that. I understand this route goes through many states and it's mm -hmm. great. The uh, CSX has done that because they have a call chain that they handle incident management from. And how many units of firefighters did you have out here roughly what happened? Several. How about that? Um, let's see, 12s and 13s, so I would say seven. Seven units? Mm hmm okay. Yes. How many train cars were there so I don't know on the train itself. Uh, the conductor, the on-scene commander is handling that information right now. Uh, we just know that we've dealt with five. Was this the last one back here, the one that flipped, or that was back here? That was the first one that, that flipped, and then the, the last one is right there. Okay. Yeah. Anyone injured that was a conductor or anything on the train? No, no injuries, no harm to life at this time. How fast it was going? No, no ma'am. How far is it from where this one overturned to where the rest of the car stopped? Uh, 40, 50 feet possibly, and now that's moved out of the way and the intersection's clear for anything that needs to advance from here. How long do you think all this is going to be going on? I would say take a few hours. I know that this part's going to take, the actual uh, event site will take several hours, but that's a great question for CSX. Did you talk about cause earlier? We did not. That's unknown. It's under investigation at this time, sir. That's, that's it for now. That's all I can give you. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you all.